the monster is like a uh, fight club with Tyler Durden yelling at anyone, but then he gets to Maloko and he goes, you, you're just fucking old. <laughs> old Maloko. Yeah. I mean, and and that's, with and that's where, um, is, is... that's where part all... two jumps in right there. Thank back? you for that. Yeah, we just got back. Yeah. So we're starting with, you are fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so, so the, um, the lesser demon is behind you guys, um, the wyvern-type creature, um, and, uh, it's just, it's taunt, it's just, it probably the first thing that comes out of its, its fucking, uh, serpent mouth, um, is like, mother's close, can't you feel her? Sure can! <laughs> <laughs> I just, I presume he's talking about my mother specifically, because he, like, my dad's been yeah. talking about my mother's birthday, and I want to attack this thing. Like, that's what Dex yeah, would do. Just, like, fucking rage out at it? Lose his mind. Oh, I want to um, put out my cane sword. I'm just like, let's fucking, I'm having it. Alright, you gonna skirmish with it? Uh, I can't sway it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, are you guys all gonna fight it? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> Then, this, would, then this, this will be just a single group action, right? Is it, is it, let's, let's just make even, this a single roll. A group action to defeat this demon. Yeah. Because um, I don't have a single dice in the skirmish, so let's... Yeah. Yay! <laughs> is this right, uh, risky? And it looks like Fraser is going to lead the group action then, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Shut up. Okay. So uh, is this I'll risky? Like, maybe you... I'll like, turn the gun into the, like, the, uh, the blade into the gun part. Like it mechanically changes and then like pop it while they're trying to like <laughs> slash and shoot it as well or something yeah um just uh, maybe i should have put the rules reference as a handout for you guys to know but um oh well too late for that right uh so this is how you do teamwork and stuff so um when someone leads a group action you uh everybody rolls uh yeah. who prefer who participates in the group action and the best single role counts as the action's result nice um the consequence to that, though, is that the right. uh, the leader so takes stress group for every for this failure. Would actually just screw us over a bit. No, um, because it's only the it's person. It's dice being rolled, right? So do you have yeah. a greater yeah. chance? Uh, true, true. But you. He's gonna yeah. take some stress. But here's the thing, though. You guys, you guys really should get. Um, thieves have an ability called synchronized, which, when you perform a group action, you may count multiple sixes from different rolls as critical success. It's a pretty good move. Anyways. Well, I have zero die in skirmish. Zero. Literally zero. None. You don't have <laughs> no. no. Okay. So it's all um, about setting up a shot and using hunt to des decimate it. So uh, go ahead, so you friends. Can set up. Whatever skirmish die you have. <laughs> so do you want to set up a character with your hunt? Is that what you want to do? I think I do. Okay. And the trap being... Fraser. Um, being a distraction. Yeah, okay. Probably uh, use me as a distraction, to be honest. I'm just in there wailing at this thing. That's more of a liability, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, I'd pr yeah, probably. Boy, it's, yeah, it's going to be fucking insane. Um, uh, I, mm, yeah, I would use, if I'm, I mean, if you're going to let me use Punt to set up a shot, I will do it. Yeah. You're, you're firing from distance then. Um, yeah, like, is anyone assisting me? Please assist me. I can't. Oh, uh, you no. can, like, distract it. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm distracting, distracting it already. Okay. I'm distracting it with my flailing of my cane sword. Well, you're probably, like, fencing with it or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. fencing with the lesser Fuck demon. Fuck you, I like challenge you to a dual demon. <laughs> okay. This is going to be desperate. I think Probably. so, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be. <laughs> Woo. Um, and it's going to be great effect because I have superiority. Yes. And I have one extra dice because I have a flame yeah. engine. Basically, God, if you do this uh, successfully, Fraser has a chance to actually kill it. Okay. That's, what's not, well, that's what the setup uh, is, is here for. Dice <laughs> please. Dice gods, please be with me. Come on. Dice gods, no. Oh. Nice. That's not uh, too bad. Five I rolled five fives. I mean, three fives. Yeah, they yeah. did, didn't you? Wow. Wow. Yeah. You do it, there's a consequence. 
You suffer a severe alarm or a serious impressive. complication occurs. Um, <coughs> yeah, okay. Um, so we got a complication. Obviously, the, the best one would be that somebody takes harm. Um, I can take something, if need be. I can take so much harm. Another thing could be that Dex does hit it, doesn't do any damage, and then when... Gets when stabbed he, while, yeah. Gets a back yeah. slap. Like, yeah. Or he loses his sword because it, like, staggers back with the this sword was, in it. Yeah, but this was a desperate one. If this was... Oh, if yeah. he did something to make it risky... Um, so here's here's what I'm gonna say then. Um, yeah, Dex, you get stabbed in the lungs. By in the lungs. Uh, oh, what what level oh. harm am I taking? Uh, two or three. Two. Um, okay. But that's but you Punch. can res you can resist it, right? Yeah, I'm going to. You punctured lung. Yeah, punctured you've lung. You've got slots. You've got armor. Not armor slots. Uh, equipment slots. Yeah, exactly. So you can spend I armor to reduce it. All right. So I have armor because yeah. equipment things. Um, so what does that do as far as harm goes? Lowers it by one? Uh, we've been doing like Apocalypse World where it just lowers harm. Yep. Okay, so I, um, instead of punctured lung, it's more like maybe broken rib at this point then. Right? Because uh, it's yeah. the same similar yeah. area. That makes sense. And then I think... But then your armor is spent, yeah. 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 And oh, you know what? I'll, I'll, take, okay. I'll take a broken rib. I'll take a broken rib. I'll use my armor slot right. and I'll That's take a level a two harm. Sure. Done. Depending on how the scene uh, plays out, it might be a cool thing to have it look like Flint does go down, and then the camera pans to him, and he's like, oh, I'm all right. Yeah. Because of the armor. Oh, that makes <laughs> sense. Yeah, no, I like that. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah. If, if we actually do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm definitely going to push myself. Stressed out. And I'm going to skirmish it up. Okay. And that is oh, a risky action. Yeah. Uh, I think. Well, I think um, Grimes is going to assist you. Okay. Um. She's going to. You never seen her do this, but she's going to try to attune to make it like electrically charged, so you can like hit it. Oh, cool! Like, like for like bonus effect. Same, and you cool guys all were like, the gun blade isn't so cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I like the gun blade. Like, like she's basically going to cast, like, uh, weakness on it or whatever. Oh, sweet. Uh, okay, so, risky position. Yeah. Uh, effect. Great. Um, what's Great. above standard? Right. Uh, Great. Limited. No, it's not limited. It's the opposite. It's oh, greater, it's greater effect. Rate. It's yeah, it's great effect. It's greater than um, and that one extra die, or two extra die because I pushed myself, right? Yeah, and Grimes is helping. Yeah, three extra die. Three extra die. Because Grimes, Grimes is, is helping, and you're pushing yourself, and um, whatever the other one you just said was. No, that's that's it. You only get two extra die. Yeah, so five. No, oh, my bad. I heard. Two, I heard three, four, one. five. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, so, uh, you do it, um, but there's a consequence. Um, oh, okay. I no, I got it. This is perfect. Um, you, you kill the demon. Um, Grimes is knocked out from channeling it. Oh, okay. that makes sense. Yeah, she's unconscious. Um, what does it look like? What does it look like when you kill it? Probably, I wonder if it would. I think like I blind it with my shot. Oh, nice. Then, yeah. I think whatever happens to it, I might be on top of it, like stabbing it repeatedly afterwards. Oh, I'm along. However, it dies. Like, I mean, by all means, describe how it dies. But if it still has like some sort of physical embodiment, I'd probably be going insane on it. I think it gets shot and like laughs. At us, and then Grimes cast that spell, and it sort of like twitches, and then I shoot it in the head, and it falls down. You shoot, so you shoot it with the gun blade. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. You defy genre. Yeah. 
Awesome. Yeah. All right. So then, so you, you killed this demon, um, and it, it 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 squeals and it's like death throws, um, and the earth starts to shake. Um, it's not a load bearing demon, but um, the the manor house um begins to rumble. A load bearing um, demon. <laughs> the uh, the shadows the shadows in the house um coalesce and um become like one like kind of entity and like almost um. I'm not sure for the scripture, but um, basically, um, the windows start to like break, and coming out of the windows are these large tentacles, as they um, they start start slapping down, and uh, not that's even... not my uncle's house. This, I think this episode, yeah, I think this Probably. episode uh, might be titled "How I Met Your Mother." <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Streams uh, over. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Um, so yeah, this is this is the um, you guys are now ready to face the mother demon, um, the ruler by, of by the lost city. Yeah. <laughs> freaking out over we, this. We demon. are currently facing the mother yeah. demon. My, my, yeah, we are facing it. By no means ready. Um, Don't forget your slots, guys. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I still have loads of equipment. This thing, slots. this thing is extremely ancient. Um. So yeah, how I met. It probably mother. predates the cataclysm. Oh, she's not that old. And if I was playing my out of the abyss character, be asking you, it some questions. You would be all over the place. <laughs> I You're can't wait. Demon central. It's, you it's are. extremely upset. You killed its young. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. I think anyone would be pissed off if you killed their child. Uh, can we try to wake up Grimes before we go fight a demon? I'm probably still stabbing this demon. You can. Uh, I mean, these tentacles are are now like punching hey. out of like the roof and stuff. Do you think it's kind of like the fucking um. This is kind of like the fucking Watcher in the Waters from Lord of the Rings, right? Oh <laughs> shit! Like before that, they that go pic- into the tomb yeah, thing. Yeah, like, like picture picture something like that. What's happening right now? Right, like these fucking. Oh, things are coming out. that when we need him with the fucking um, arrows. So yeah, like Grimes is there, but um, right now the problem with that is um, obviously the the issue with that is the tentacles flying around. But you can try to wake up Grimes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try to. So I'll grab Dex and I'll be like, Dex, they're both gone. They're all gone. But we're here now. Help us. I can I like somehow. You're I don't know if you want me to do anything mechanically as far as this goes because I I'm fucked in the head right now. Yeah, you but, are. Like, I, I want to try and steal myself and be like, I knew it wasn't real. I said to myself it wasn't real, and now they're gone. I just need to focus on the situation at hand. Yeah, no, I, that's that's no, no role for that. That's fucking awesome. Okay, right? No, Sweet. that's like, I'm just no, like you, you you did like the hero thing, right? Like. Focus. Yeah. yeah, you know. I feel like he's like cute. holding on to me, like yeah. he's holding on to my head, looking at me, square in the eyes, like getting me to look at him, like we're here, we're real, it's okay. Look yeah. at me, focus, and I do, and I focus, and I run over, and I try and assist with the reawakening of Grimes. Your heart is filled with determination. Like, Loka, what are you doing? Let's go. Now I just want to see like the Lovecraft mythos with the power of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how that goes. Yeah. Um. Okay. After so. Close. To Hashtag wake up, friendship is magic. How are you? How goes? So how are you guys going to wake up Grimes? Um, and two, um, how are you doing it in a way that means that you don't get uh, grappled by the tentacles? Um, uh, I suggested using rage extract to see if that would wake her up. Oh, oh like a fucking adrenaline? Oh, yeah. Shit. I yeah. have some. Yeah, I know yeah. you do. Let's do that. That's not a bad idea. Wow, that's get a really good idea. Let's get fucking crazy <laughs> rage, girl. <Yeah. laughs> Pulp fictioner and then pointer at the tentacles. <laughs> uh, you hey, wake up, stand her still, point her in this direction, like, go Grimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I think she's, like, laying there, and it's, like, the... Yeah, and then I'll just, like, pour some, some like, maybe half of the vial or something. In her mouth. Uh, you, no, it's, it's all or nothing. Uh, all it's all or nothing. Okay. All of it, then. And I it <laughs> you tried. You sneaky yeah. fuck. <laughs> yeah, okay. You you pour it in. Um, yeah. Okay. 
Um, give me. And last time, last time I uh, described it too, it was like the steam coming off your body and stuff. So maybe like as she's like waking up or something, then that's what's happening to her body. Yeah. What the fuck is that? But here's the problem. What? No one's defending yourselves from these fucking tentacles. So oh, yeah. I'm legging it. Uh, you're legging it. What does that mean? I'm running. Oh, <laughs> really? You're gonna just ditch us like that? You're ditching? I have a rifle. I'm meant to be far away. Oh, yeah, like out of range I mean, of the tentacles or something? Yeah. Okay. okay, I thought you meant like running, running. I was like, this thing. <laughs> oh, where to? Yeah. The maze. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's the blood. Um, okay. I, I, I guess like I cane sword with, like, I'll try and chop the tentacles. I just, just realized like, we're, we're, we're bloodborne right now. Yeah, well, this, this is very bloodborne right now. Mm. Cane swords, gun blades. Yeah. I, I think I think I'm gonna try and use my cane sword to slash at the um tentacles before they reach Grimes and uh Flint. Okay. Uh then give me a skirmish. <laughs> um, have me die in skirmish, so how does that work? Uh you can roll two dice and you take the lowest. Okay. This is obviously risky, you're acting under fire here. <laughs> Um, there you go, it's 2d6, take the lowest one, whatever. Oh, four. It's a fail. No, it's a two. Oh, two, two, you Take right? the lowest. Two, yeah, lowest, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, boy, you, you, you grab the one, uh, you, you cut off the, the tentacle that was going for them, right? But uh, another one grabs your own foot, and you get thrusted up into the air. Uh, Captain America's foot! <laughs> yeah. Um... But, like, I, so Grimes, like, immediately gets to her feet, right? Yeah. And, um, she, like, stares down the tentacle holding, um, holding Storm. Dex. Right? Hold, or holding Dex, thank you. No, it's literally you, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> and, uh, it, it immediately seems to just, like, let go. And, like, you just, you start falling. Uh, you just, you fall about, like, ten feet or so. I've got, uh, like, my broken rib. I know. I hit the floor. I'm just like, oh, my God. Can yeah. you just, like, just relax? Can I get a break, please? <sighs> yeah, you get the wind knocked out of you. Um, <coughs> I mean, you probably land Can on I something. Hey. Pro- what? Can I see its eye yet? Oh, you can see its eye. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can. So I, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna describe the how, um, like, so now oh, the you house... Did that first. Yeah, so, like, the house now seems to be, like, lifting itself off the foundations and it's like can kind of like move and just you see like these tentacles just like coming out from below it and it's going to like undulate its way over to you okay, uh, well, but yeah um, like 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 from the I, door I like knee. like near near yeah. like the second story window or something like that there's absolutely a um like a, a, a giant lidless eye i don't remember my uncle's house being like this didn't move <laughs> all right no, did not move can i have a devil's bargain um, for yeah, fuck's sake. Hang on. Flux just killed my internet. Oh, yeah. God. Um, Fixed it. Fine. Let's see. What about uh, it? What about it tapping into Maloko's past so we get a scene of that? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I was going to tell you in break, but we went back. If you want to mess with Maloko, just tell him how empty his life is right now, because he's got nothing going on. Well, let's see what he's lost, then. Don't make him commit suicide. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. We're Sorry. above that. Are we? We're, we're above suicide. Oh, my God. That's how this episode's going to end. Oh, my God. I'm so done. <laughs> um, I got it. Uh, actually, no, no, no. It. it just, um, I looked how much stress I have. I'm just here's the devil's bargain. Here's the devil's bargain. Um... Mm-hmm. You've seen this creature um, in a way that no one else has. I mean, like even like at this point, um, I think I think its its eye is fixated on you, and under no uh, your devil's bargain is that no for the rest of this score, um, no one can assist you on any rolls. Mm. It's you. It's you um, alone. I guess it's the world. I mean, obviously, other people can still attack this monster and stuff, but, like, no one can actually help you with an action. I will take this devil's bargain. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Um, devil's bargain. Desperate? 
Yeah, it sounds desperate. Desperate for XP, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it, mean, uh, yeah, is it actually desperate or is it just risky? Um, this is just risky. Okay. You're just gonna shoot it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, I love being a sharpshooter. Please roll sixes. Good luck. I didn't roll sixes. <laughs> that's not a six, <laughs> that's definitely a four. Uh, four. So does that mean that was bargain. with you roll a four, you partially succeed at great effect, or is the effect reduced? Yeah, yeah, it's a partial, like, I succeed, it's a complication, and it has great effect. Okay. It doesn't lower the effect, because you didn't get a six. I, I, I don't, like, I'm sure that's an option, but... Oh okay. yeah. So so you yeah. So you um you do it, but there's a consequence, right? Um. Boy, um. I think you blind it, like you like you temporarily maybe or something, but you definitely blind the creature's eye, right? Cool. But um. I think you take uh. You take a significant amount of um, like psychic backlash. Um, I think this. So this mom is a load-bearing demon, and I think when you do that, like the the world shakes, and um, the consequence. I of look this, straight in its eye, and it looks into yeah. my soul. Yeah. Um, I think what we see is um, the the illusion of the manor and everything like that is is now d gone because you took out its eye. Um, mm -hmm. Instead, we're standing in um, this massive underground, um, almost like a temple. Uh, it looks extremely old. Um, it does. It, it looks like it was carved um, by something by not human hands. Um, it's like the size of like literally like a sports dome. You know, like Ooh. imagine like a a football field or a, you know like a soccer stadium. Like it's just this massive, massive underground chasm that you're in. Um, and there's this, this massive pool of water of uh, these statues just, like, all over the place. Perhaps the columns that are, like, supporting this giant, um, place are all, like, carved with weird symbols and, uh, thonic, uh, imagery. Um, and, yeah, we see, we see, like, the, the demon for what it is, which is this squid-like monstrosity. Can there be, like, all these candles everywhere, except instead of light, they give off, like, darkness or something? That'd be cool. Like that black swirly kind of thing coming off of lanterns or something. Ooh. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah. Let's go with that. So, yeah, uh, fucking mind fuckery. <laughs> I've had enough of mind fuckery for today. So, that would be, I think, um, <clears throat> I think mind fucked at a level two harm would be, unless you want to resist it. Uh, would I resist it with inside? Yeah. I'll resist that, yeah. <laughs> He's so careful about what he resists. <laughs> I, I am. I this am is Loogie. Like, he is the calculator of yeah. any group you've ever in. I am the calculator. Give me the sixes, please, God. Oh, my God. Nice. Hey! hey. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you so knock it down. Like yeah, no, you, you just knock it down to level one harm, um, which is just like... Which shaking. means zero harm yeah. for Tenacious. Yeah, fucking dope. You don't, give a, you don't give a fuck that your whole world. I don't give. I seen some shit. Yeah. Or maybe, I, I, yeah, maybe it's just that you don't have anything to care about anyway, right? So you're like, what have I got to lose anyway? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's a pretty good descriptor, actually. At this point, I just kind of want our characters to get as fucked up as possible. Yeah, totally. Like, I mean, right? you just wait till my ex action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But wait, there's more. So, Fr uh, yeah. So, Flint, what are you doing? Um. So, I wanna, I wanna do some fucking like ninja action and like cut out these tentacles. I want it to be like an anime or something where I'm like jump against a wall and like backflip and then like as I'm falling like go down and chop down on a tentacle. Sure. Like a hydra. Yeah. Like cutting off the heads of a hydra. Yeah. Do it. Um, skirmish. Um, Grimes is gonna help you. Uh, Grimes is like trying to Super psychically, Grimes. um, like 
it can like freeze the tentacles like where they are instead of like them trying to like thrash around sweet is this a risky controlled or desperate action uh certainly risky there's a lot of tentacles up in the air right now and is it great effect limited or standard um do you have anything that gives you greater effect if it's supernatural, supposedly I have, I imbue my hands, melee weapons with... Oh yeah, uh, then no, you have you have great effect. Because you have sweet. that. And then one extra die for grunge, right? Yes. Nice! Ooh, nice, is that a crit? Is that a crit? No. no. Alright, just a regular one. Just a regular. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um... Shit, so the thing's blinded, and you've, like effectively neutered its tentacles. Yeah. Uh, I look at I look at uh, uh, Dex and I'm like, what are you going to do? Laugh the other two to death, funny man? <laughs> it, um... <laughs> uh, so tentacles are, tentacles are stopped. It's blinded. Maloko is running at it. Yeah, it, oh. it, it shrieks in pain. Um, it want Yeah, it, it's like retreating. It's like faltering. Oh shit! That's a good idea. I'm running. What do you guys Lots do? Running. Oh. I'm running up to it. Yeah. I want to. Do I just realised I'm muted. Um, I probably <coughs> wouldn't charge it off with my own accord, but seeing old Maloko charging at it, I'm like, ah, fuck yeah, let's go! And I'm like, I charge in with uh, Maloko at this demon motherfucker. Let's have it. So one of my gear slots is to have demolition tools. <laughs> oh, boy, blow it up. Blow it up, please, I beg you. Uh, I don't think it is It's, it's that. like a sledgehammer. And yeah, a like sledgehammer, but an iron spike. So what I want to do is have an iron spike and then use the sledgehammer to hit it into its eye. Like, like oh, throw it out of something and swing. just fucking bat it. Like the iron spike right into its eye. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Maybe those two are like running like side by side and then the spike would go like in between them in the center if it was like oh, yeah yeah <laughs> there's some like next level what shit. so what role is that uh, i don't know uh, <laughs> um well in proudness there's something called wreck is that a thing um wreck yeah but wreck is wrecks to like blow something up oh okay Oh, or like destroy an environment. So, um... Is it another I guess skirmish? Skir probably skirmish, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's your call. And I'm gonna push myself for sure. Okay. And... Yeah, this will be cool if it was. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. <laughs> and is it it's, uh, risky, controlled, desperate? Oh, it's, um... Risky... Mm, still got a few tricks up its sleeve. Uh, standard, limited, great. So do I. Don't you are. Um, <laughs> probably standard. Risky standard. And, uh... Oh my god. Oh, it was a crit. Two sixes. It was a crit. Holy yes! shit. <laughs> Alright then. Um, yeah. Describe what it's like when you kill it. So, I wanted, yeah, I definitely want it to be like steampunk anime-ish thing where like I have um, I'll, like, I'll tell you what Maloko's doing so you can incorporate it. He's running up and he whips out the lightning gun. Oh and shit! Shoot it. Yeah, shoot the light, shoot the spike to electrify it. I <laughs> probably like lost my mind at this point, and I'm like slashing at it and biting at it and everything. Like I'm just doing everything oh I can. Oh my god! So. <laughs> um, I want it to be like yeah, super anime-ish, where I'm just like got this huge ass. Sledgehammer from nowhere. <laughs> and there's like a giant it's nice. it's real. spike or whatever, and I like toss it in the air and then like twirl around, and then like the edge hits it goes <coughs> right between the two, and then the lightning like shoots the spike and goes right into its eye. Oh, yes, like I use it as a conductor. Oh, yeah. it's a power up, dude. Oh, sick. yeah, you said the fucking combo move. Um, so here's here's what I want to know <laughs> combo. Yeah, so you guys fucking kill this demon. You just fucking killed a demon, guys. No way, dude. That's insane. I mean, you guys are fucked up, but, like, you killed oh. a demon. Um, 
yeah. Uh, what do you guys? How do you guys get out of here? Like, I what, what, what is it like? My knees. Uh, <laughs> I just collapse. Just yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damon. Yeah, like the I, fucking like, inspirational the music comes on. I'm on the floor. <laughs> holding... just got back to. Yeah. <laughs> Kelsey, uh, I just we killed the demon and everything, dude. Ah. I'm like oh my holding my rib on the floor, like, oh, I'm in pain. Oh, my parents and my uncle and everything. And the car demons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like fucking dying on the floor, like, you know, just chilling. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I can but only imagine that before we cut, yeah. I think we'll have just a slight snippet, just a very quick shot of Maloko drinking some blood, some demon blood. I don't know what that's going to do, but uh, that happens. Okay. And, um, well, I was going to remark that, um, probably in the, in the, the pool where this monster was are fucking, you know, uh, what I could only describe would be, let's see. Yeah, about 21 worth of coin of, uh, <laughs> of treasure. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, well, the whole, the whole, like, pool of this, like, thing is just filling up with demon blood, right? Um, but, like, between, like, the splashes of the, the water onto the, the shore, um, of this stadium, this, like, massive cavern, um, you can see, like, like, just really creepy, um, artifacts and, like, a bunch of, like, pre, um, pre-cataclysm coins and stuff all, um, in this, in this pool. That's a, a lot of coin. That hey, is a um, lot of um, money. Um, oh, if my rib was not Yeah, hard. you guys literally can't carry all of this coin. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> if my rib was not broken. Is it, can I like, because I'm on the floor clutching my rib and stuff, can I like drag my way over to the edge of the pool? Is it like, can I reach in and grab stuff or do I have to physically like dive in and stuff? No, you can grab it. Like it's Yeah, it's, I want to just... crawl over to the edge of the pool and like grab as much as I can carry of the most ancient, old-looking ass coins that I can see in there. The thing, and bearing in mind I'm a noble and I know what wealth looks like, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna grab the most expensive looking this is, shit. This is an insane amount. This is a treasure trove. Um, I'm, a, I'm grabbing all the shit. I'm gonna spin it. I'm I don't even know get... how you carry. Like how much? You can only carry four coin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I would presume that, like, because coin itself has, like, its its meaning of how much a coin is worth, right? Yeah, it's like, These it's like coins, a coins, I presume, wages. would just be worth yeah. more than that coin. Oh, he's no. saying, like, coin as in, like, the meta uh, game version of coin. Yeah, yeah. it's worth, it's a mechanically, like a, this treasure is worth that much, but you literally can't carry all of it out of here. Yeah. But it's certainly enough to, um, to, to live a pretty okay life. Well, yeah. let's get every single person to carry as much as is humanly possible. Yeah. And yeah, I presume we do we're just yeah. And then we're just like, I'm retiring. I'm going uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not retiring. No. I'm on an even bigger mission. Ah, <laughs> oh, I have greater things ahead of me. Well, you still I mean, you like, still remember you, you still like have to pay. Looking at the statues, and you have to call him over if you want him to like pick up shit. How are you going to prove to the Circle of Flame that you did this? How are we going to prove? They're Let's like, take the... Can we... How big is this eye? Or is there an, an eye that we can take? fucking impossibly big. It's, okay. It's okay. like the size of a fucking bus. Is there like bus. A, a tentacle or... Yeah, um, I mean, you want to carry a piece of the demon back? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll, I'll take it as well, straight up. I'll cut it. I'll that cut could it possibly be bad. Can I take out its heart? Yeah. No, its With heart's me. bigger than its eye. Okay, fair enough. And you would I have wanna... to go into the pool and get this. Fuck that. I want to take the you most You want to bathe in the fucking thing. demon blood? <laughs> no, I'm good. I mean... Um, I want to take the most symbolic thing of this. No, because the heart is huge. It's bigger than its eye. We can't carry okay, it. Like, I could go in the pool, that is. Oh, yeah. I mean, you I can... mean, by all means, go for a swim. I don't mind. 
Um, I take a piece of it for my own purposes. Yeah, you can carry a piece. Yeah, I mean, like I did that. But yeah, I want to use my cane sword and cut or carve a piece of this demon that is recognizable as demon flesh. Yeah, well, all those tentacles would certainly suffice. Yeah, I'm going to take one of the tentacles and I'm going to swing it over my shoulder and carry it with me and bitch slap some people on the way back out with it. You'll have to, okay. Um, boy, getting through the ghost fence. Would that would that be a problem? Oh, for fuck's no, sake! No, I won't be. I don't think it would be a problem with the demon. I don't. I don't <laughs> want to worry about that. Um. So I would rather I would rather um see sort of like an epilogue of what's going to happen now for us um, with yeah. the characters. Something that happens in Duskfall, I know, is that now the Lost District is going to be starting to be built up. Like, people are going to start, like, the, the fence is going to be moved into the Lost District, and now it's going to be incorporated into the city. Um, it's going to be kind of like a land grab um, as yeah. people vie for uh, power. In, in but wait, district. there's more. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's, like, what the newspapers, like, you see the spiraling newspapers of the fucking, like, Duskfall Times or whatever, like, shows up, and, like, that's what it says, like, Lost District Reclaimed. Uh, you know, like a you know, budding expansion and that kind of stuff. Um, but I want to know what. But more importantly, I want to know what you guys are doing. I'm gonna go Dex. get married. Yeah. Also, can we have a scene between Dex and that like, <coughs> flame guy? Oh yeah. I see actually, you. Yeah. I wanna yeah. when we come back. When we come back, I think the first thing we do is we go and see the circle of flame man and be like, hey, we killed this fucking demon. Leave us the fuck alone. Because I'm pissed and hurt and traumatized. Don't even fucking talk to I know. me anymore. And here's the thing. He's, like, apathetic. He's He has a little bit of shock that you guys... Oh, you made it back? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. And, like, he, like, like a very calculating, like, unemotional, like, Oh, that's really good. That's very fortunate. Okay. I'll fucking shoot him. <laughs> you want to make all the... You want to make the problem happen again? Are you sure you want to do that? Oh, at this point, Maloko, he's... He does Dude, you care. just got out of their, their fucking crafts. If you did oh, this, they would fucking right. come at he's you. He's not important. I oh, don't shoot him. You you think about it. You imagine I it. Sh I definitely think about it. Yeah. Alright. Um, very good. And, like, you know, he, he uh, the guy, like, gets up, you know, whatever. He's like, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Um, you're... He, and he, he's like he, he gives no like he gives you a um he has something like some paperwork and then like it's like the deed to um the store right and he's like uh i feel like this is also um you know because you guys achieved your objective um here uh we don't want to see any we want nothing to do with you like anymore right it's probably best for them to yeah. stay out of our way yeah as the think, um uh... I think the thing that would make the most sense for Flint is that uh, he maybe it would, it would be neat if that pool of blood for the demon is the way that you enter like hell and he just like looks at you guys and he's just like I'll see you on the other side and he just runs right into it to go to hell to get his wife back oh shit alright well that's one person who can't carry any more coin out <laughs> yeah <laughs> But, like, when we're talking to, um, the sky from the Circle of Flame, as everyone's leaving and stuff, I want to, like, grab him by the back of the neck. Like, not in a, like, I'm gonna fucking strangle you way, more in a, around the side and pull him in close. And be like, if I ever fucking see you again, I will kill you myself. And then I, like, throw him back. <coughs> and... Oh, yeah, he's, like, um, he's, I feel like he's used to hearing that kind of stuff. And he's like, yeah, I know. I've heard that before. Uh, I don't even pay attention to I've got to turn my back to him and leave. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are fucking maybe, loaded. Maybe there's, like, a yeah. flashback scene where I'm talking to somebody that knows about, like, hell and all that kind of stuff. Or, like, like the place that you need to go to get souls back or whatever. And they say, like, it flashes back to, like, me talking to them and saying, like, the only way to enter is to, like, kill a demon and put it still, like... Dying. Oh, that's like a portal? Yeah. Yeah. It turns into a and portal. Then, and then it, Jesus like, does the flashback. Oh, my God. You follow its soul back to hell. Yeah. Fucking, okay, I guess we're playing Diablo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, like, um, uh, and then that's sort of, like, the, the 
the end of the TV show, like, revelation thing for Flint is, like, the flashback, and then you're like, why is he doing that? You just see him, like, walk slowly out into this pool of blood, like, I'll see you on the other side, and then just yeah. walks off. Totally. And just kind of, like, just walks under the water. And yeah, like, just, yeah, like, just walks. It doesn't, like, dive in or he anything. No, just he walks just walks. Out, yeah, gets into it. Yeah. 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 Mm. Crazy good. Uh, Dex. We should probably investigate you this coin and house. Get, uh, you get home. Mm. Uh, and you go to your room. And on your desk, you find a couple things. Okay. One, you find Maloko's share of the coins. Um, uh, two, uh, I'm like the richest one out of everyone. And everyone's giving me their money. What is this? You find two very familiar pistols. And uh, you find a book. No way. It's like a journal or some shit. Uh, it is a, a combination of like... No, no. You would, you would find two bits. There is the, the journal part of it and like the, the publicized stories of um, the things that Pinoco has done as a policeman, as a detective. Well, or maybe you do yeah. that after the uh, first dance of the the bride and the groom and he like yeah, goes to say, yes yeah, this is like let, after the wedding yeah maybe let, let's do the marriage thing first and then afterwards yeah okay, okay. explain to me what this book is about and what what um what you've been up to yeah what's it say like what do the entries say no that's what we're um, saying let's do the marriage thing first yeah let's do that first because i feel like the way old maloko is gonna end this will be the end of blades for all of us Perhaps. We'll see. Right. <laughs> we'll see. Get you married. Okay. Um, so I want to investigate these coins and um, figure out how to sell them, who to sell them to, how much they're worth, and I want to cash in my money kind of thing. And uh, I think that would be one of the first things on my mind um, upon returning home. Oh yeah, no, you um this is you know this is more than enough money to um basically restore your family name and stuff. I'm I'm going to go ahead and do that. I want to I want to go and see Nirix. Yeah. And I want to say like she she be all worried and stuff about how I've been away for a while and she's like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" And I'm like, "Listen, I'll be with you soon. I have a few things to take care of and then I'll come back and we're going to get married, okay?" And I go away and I want to sort out my family business. I want to yeah. get my friend out of jail. I want to pay his bail or, or something. Oh, yeah. around those things. I want to get him out, sort out my family business and restore it back to its former self um, and its former wealth and restore the Fairfax name. And once all of that is done, I want it, like I would be sitting down at a desk writing a few things and the next scene would be me getting married. It would be Nirix walking down the aisle up to see me um with the fucking da, 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 yeah da, 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 that's yeah. that would be the next scene and um fuck we would both say i do and we'd kiss and everyone would rejoice and celebrate and i'd turn around and i'd look and i'd notice the absence of old maloko and uh flint and i would like my heart would go out to flint i know what he's gone off to do badger's there though this badger Badger, your best. <laughs> Badger's like, yeah, mate, what? Um, and Flint's like fucked off, and I know what he's gone to go and do, and my heart's with him, and my prayers go out to him. But Maloko, I'd invited him. He'd, he'd come back to Dust Bowl with me, and he's not there. Um, and I turn a blind eye to it, and I carry on with the rest of the evening. I enjoy the celebrations. I'm married now, and such, and hooray, and blah. And I'm with Nerix, and, um, and I go back home. Back to my estate, my manor, which has been done up a little bit with the money that I've got. Yeah. Um, and on the desk inside, I see the things that Nugi was um, yeah. talking about, and I'll let Nugi take over. Um, so, yes, you find the money, his pistols, um, you find a journal, you find a few journals. He's been writing for a long time. It's quite, um, quite the memoirs. Quite the memoirs. Uh, you also find manuscripts, like uh, that has been like actual stories that have been written. Um, they're not like his 
it, you, if you were to read his journal and to read the stories, there is you know a, a lineup, but it's different. Um, also, the names on the books don't match. Oh, what else would you find? You would find like probably three volumes worth, and it details like from his time in, in the capital and how he like fell out of favor at the force there and why he's in Duskfall now. Um, and you would have basically all of it up until he met you guys. You find like an orphanage picture and it turns out that no, he had family. the father. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the last scene is Maloko um, on a boat looking away at Duskfall heading to uh, how do I pronounce that? Uh, Tycheros. Tycheros, yeah. Tycheros. Yeah. Tycheros. The, the other, the, the land of demons. And, yeah. Wow. Fuck. My heart. Yeah. That's blades. All right. Um, oh. Ooh, and you know what should happen? It should end with, like, uh, uh, Dex in his study, like years from now, and there's like a door opens and it and it looks like um, clothing from like Flint, but you never see his face, and then it just ends. Oh, <laughs> fiend! Um, <laughs> there's a sequel, boys. <laughs> yeah, there's nice. plenty of space for a sequel. Well, I know that the next game of Blades that I play um, space for a sequel. No, okay. Uh, I'm definitely going to, um, so, next play games that I play, this is canon, uh, all the okay. stuff that's happened here. Uh, I love it. Shit, yeah. All <laughs> things that exist in Shape it. the world, kind of yeah. like, the, the, um, for sure. The, God, what's your family's name again? Fairfax. Fairfax. The Fairfax family think, is back. Yeah. I think that I also would have been one of the first people gun to jump the thing. gun. Yeah. Um, I think I would have been the first, one of the first people to jump the gun and get into the Lost District, as far as business goes. Yeah, and go back and get those coins. Yeah, and I know that coin's there, and I'm going back, I'm getting that fucking coin, boys, I'll tell you Oh now. my god, in the next one, you're like a huge landowner in the, in the Lost yeah, District. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking, my, my aim is to control that fucking Lost District, you get me? Like, you know? Yeah. Oh, I know, that's, dude. that's what se like season two would be like that like season two would be the dealings and stuff of the lost district and like fucking claiming it again and like yeah, cool. facts. Yeah. yeah man fair facts name boys fuck yeah Woo. well well shit guys it's been blades <laughs> in the dark um so yeah um so this would this is going to conclude our game of vigilantes of, of cloak and gavel but um, there would be some there would be something else coming in. I'm not sure what just yet with as many cast members as we could. Uh, but with school and different things coming up, um, we've had to wrap up our game, and this was a good I'm ending like point. Half free, if that makes yeah. any sense. Yeah, well, I mean, we're, I'm not asking you guys to like if we can play right now. We'll work it out like off. I'm technically all, free, but, but I am going to school in like six hours. Yeah, it's four in the morning. So right yeah, I'm yeah. gonna sleep soon. Yeah, we'd rather. Yeah, we'll work something out. But like, we have more time. We can we can pick maybe a better time to play together. But uh, mm, yeah, well, to yeah, damn, we'll guys, like, I mean, yeah, I, I'm interested. Yeah, this has been fun. Yeah, most yeah, definitely yeah. interested. So, um, we might play blades. Might play a different system. And this and this new, in a new system. It's fun. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, you guys, like, I literally just, like, reached out to you guys being like, hey, listen, I really want to play this game. Would you guys be interested? And you guys just fucking accepted me, can, not knowing really anything about can it. Can we all take a minute to just, like, praise Eric for how well he's run this campaign? Oh, right? yeah. And, I like, didn't know praise, you were. Praise. Thank you, <laughs> Eric. Thank you, man. Like, the stars align. Before. It is so rare. Yeah. I, I'd yeah. never met you before. I didn't know who you were or what you were about, but you've run this game and it's been amazing and I've loved every second of it. And I'm sure I speak Aww. for both of the others when I say that. We've had a Absolutely. Really it's been Absolutely. great. So thank you, Eric, as well. It's been awesome. It's my pleasure, man. This was this was a lot of fun. Uh, fucking, I, I want to play more games with you guys. You guys are great players. Like, uh, I, this, we have good chemistry. So Yeah. Uh, it, no, I agree. It's always good. So. Definitely down for more. Yeah. Always. Awesome. So uh, let's let's do some outros. My right. heart's pounding. Noogie, sorry, <laughs> Noogie. 
We'll make it quick. You can't find me anyway. I'm Noogie. You might see me again. That's I'm around. <laughs> That's me done. <laughs> done. Uh, Storm. <coughs> I'm Storm. Um, you can find me on Twitch. Um, my name is Storm Spec, and you can find me in the chat, and you can follow me on there. And um, I run a game on Saturdays at 7 p.m. GMT. It's an Out of the Abyss campaign featuring Noogie. I and, have to say, um, it is um, shenanigans. It's just my shenanigans. It, it is pure shenanigans. He plays a guy called Eric. It's fucking brilliant. Um, and they're completely lost. They escaped from prison, and now they're lost in the underworld, uh, underdark, and they're trying to make their way out and stuff. And there's demons, and it's awesome. You can and, also uh, follow me. I, I, will, I will just point out that there is a heavy focus on, on character interaction, isn't there? Oh yeah, um, I, I'm focusing the campaign more on like role playing and the situation itself, opposed to brushing through a bunch of combat and then fighting demons. I mean, there is demons, and there's fighting, and there's combat. But the interaction, like, of how scared the characters are, and I think um, I speak well for the rest of the players when they actually, like, roleplay quite well in a sense, like, they know that they are supposed to be scared and fearful of this place and stuff. And it works. Like next section, we're going to have um, one character confront another because they killed a bunch of innocent people. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. There's a lot of mixed stuff in there. And you can also follow me on Twitter, at IncrediblyT. Um, and we also, me and Noogie, play in a game on Tuesdays bi-weekly um, at twitch.tv slash cypher plays um, and that's a D&D campaign 5e and um, it's very fun and uh, very cool so you should check that out as well hmm. I, I need to get that one for yeah. me More I need, I need, how many I just episodes that I'm just really hard to jam for how many episodes <laughs> deep are you with your Into the Abyss campaign Out of the Abyss we are three Three episodes awesome. in. I feel like I might binge that today. We ran away. I made us a rock. Yeah, then, so they, like, they, the first episode was they escaped from prison. There were rock demons that came <coughs> in. It was flying all over the place. Really high intensity episode. They escaped. The next episode was very down and um, very calm. And they were just trying to make their way through. And they were a little bit lost and stuff. And trying to figure out what they were actually doing. And this last episode, they were still lost. Trying to navigate their way to the Dark Lake. To a place called uh, Sloobladop. Which is the home of the Kuatoa in the Underdark. Oh. Um, are those fish the things? Are th oh, they're the fish people? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so they're trying I to make their way there. there. And um, as a DM, I can say there's a lot of funky and interesting oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see my character to, just to flip out when he sees the Dark Lake. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fucking brilliant. You're already, you're like not far from the Dark Lake. The Dark Lake's huge. But like, We've getting to like, Sloobladop. Yeah. yeah. So getting to Sloobladop itself is something. Anyway, Fraser, who are you? Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Who's that guy? <laughs> that guy. Um, I don't know, there's a guy I'm, in your fridge, like, you know. Yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. That's one of the other guys. <laughs> um, I'm Fraser Simons. You can follow me at Fraser Simons on Twitch. Or, not Twitch. Uh, you could follow me on Twitch, but you will see nothing. <laughs> on Twitter, at Fraser Simons. And most people know me from designing the Veil Cyberpunk PBTA game. That's quite modified. But uh, next week, I think we're going to have layout done for it. And we'll send that to backers Ooh. without uh, mm. the artwork, and then we'll pop in the artwork, and then that'll be done. But I'm excited to see what Brennan Reese has done. He's the guy that did, like, the Warren and the Clay That Woke. Yeah. Like that. So I'm expecting that it'll look great. Oh, that's so rad. That, yeah. that sounds no, I back, so I back cool. that. And, uh, yeah, and uh, we're going to be playing The Veil next week, next Sunday. Yeah. Oh, so shit. I'm going to be there. I'm going to watch that shit. <laughs> I'm going to... Yeah, can check that one out. Is that a first session or something? I think a one shot, right? Oh, so um, when you're doing a one shot, who's jamming it? Let's talk about it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I actually, uh, I don't know. Would I would actually be interested in playing it, the Veil at this time. I would play actually, the shit out of game. it. Obviously, you want to play the shit out of it? You want? Do you want to do? Do you want to do like a little like um, couple uh, series arc of the I'm Veil? I'm down. I'm yeah. available. <laughs> I open the like cyberpunk. Yeah, let's yes. talk. Let's do this. Yeah. All right, let's talk. All right, I'm excited. Yeah, no shit. That's what we should do. Maybe that's our next <laughs> thing. Yeah, I would love to yeah. play the veil. Hey guys, come back next week for some yeah. of the veil. Um, yeah. Next okay, week. great. So that's our. I guess that's we what we're playing. Hawk. Yeah, I guess we're gonna be playing. Some Link, actually, cyberpunk. question: Like, is does like your veil setting? Is it more pink mohawk or operators operating operationally? 
uh, you can do whatever you like with it, really. So uh, you'll see during like character creation and world building. Actually, it's the only game I know of that has a playbook for creating the world. Oh, oh you're sick. World. You're actually oh, so cool. Like, oh, I can't wait like to see this. this. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I think you need to link myself and Noogie everything to do with the veil. Yeah. I need to actually learn the rules like I didn't yeah. for Blades and Dark. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one, it's, it should be pretty easy. I mean, Power by the Apocalypse. Like, <laughs> Kellis yeah. is oh, like, transfer yeah. your characters over into Steampunk <laughs> or Cyberpunk even. Oh yeah. my god. Nah, I'm gonna make some zany as fuck. I can't wait. Yeah. Do it. Oh, that'd be fun. Dex cool. marries a ghost in the machine. So, okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah, and this has been, uh, I'm Eric. Uh, you can follow me here at Twitch um, and Twitter and YouTube at Eric Volgaris. Um, this has been Blades in the Dark, Cloak and Gavel. Uh, yeah. Shit, so yeah, I guess I guess we're gonna we're gonna work out on Discord, um, setting up everything for the Veil, and then yeah, next week we'll be playing the Veil. So, Sweet. And, and see how long that goes. So, next this is time, fun. Next, yeah. All right. I'm, I'm already texting my work, telling them I'm ill next summer. <laughs> like, <laughs> no fucks given. Awesome. Nice. Right. I will be there. <sighs> Goodbye, stream. Woo.